Today is going to be a very weird day. It's 5.30 in the morning. The doctor told me that I have to go to the hospital this morning, which is so weird because I don't feel like I'm going to give birth yet. It's June 1st, so I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I texted her that this is going to be gross to you guys who know what I'm going to be talking about. I texted her like, hey doc, good morning. Last night I lost my mucus plug. I'm not going to say what a mucus plug is just in case you're not pregnant and you don't want to be grossed out, TMI. But I said, last night I lost my mucus plug and this morning when I got up to pee, I saw some blood in my underwear. But it's not like gross blood, like period blood, not, nothing like that. Anyway, so I sent her photos, which I know sounds really, really gross. And then she said, please proceed to the hospital. And I said, are you sure, dog? Because I haven't really gotten like those painful contractions that people keep talking about. And she said, yes, go to the hospital now because there's liquid. So, I don't know. I really feel like I'm not gonna go into labor yet. And I don't wanna go to the hospital so early because what am I gonna do there? I'm just gonna be separated from Slater and laboring alone. I really wanna stay at home, but the doctor said what the doctor said. So now I'm just gonna prepare breakfast for Slater and I, slowly gather our things, and I guess head to the hospital. All around there's no one but you. We are making a grilled caprese sandwich. This is so weird. If I truly am going to labor, which I doubt, I feel like I'm still gonna come home because I really don't feel any pain. But if I truly am gonna give birth today or tomorrow, this is not how I expected it to go. Um, I'm making a sandwich for Slater and I for breakfast. I thought it would be more panicky. I thought it would be more intense than this, but looks like it's not. <laughs> I don't know how to feel, it's so weird. Anyway, I'm slicing up some cherry tomatoes because I'm gonna add it to the sandwich. And then I'm gonna be slicing up some uh, mozzarella into really thin slices. Slater is in the other one. Love? Yeah. I'm vlogging. Mm -hmm. I'm vlogging pa. Mm -hmm. You want some mozzarella? I have a grilled caprese sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm making. It's really good. I, I made it yesterday. I go red when you're sitting there by. I'm like a young, young child. Oh, it's silly how time just flies. So Slater has white bread because he doesn't like wheat bread and I have wheat bread because I don't like white bread. Preferences. Then, you know what love? Instead of adding butter, they said the secret ingredient is to add mayonnaise. I watched so many videos last night about this sandwich. Why is it too big? It's... It's too big. Okay. I'm going to brush my teeth first. <laughs> okay. I'm trying my best to stand up this whole time and keep walking around. Hopefully, my water does break. I'm scared that my doctor thinks my water broke, but it didn't. I was walking around yesterday hiking for the past two days. So hopefully, my water will break if it hasn't already. So I'm just gonna butter my pan. I don't remember if they buttered their pan or if they just put the mayo straight, but I'm gonna butter it just in case. I feel something. I feel something down there. I don't want to rush though because all the videos and birth vlogs that I watch on YouTube, they always say, don't rush. So I am not rushing, taking my time. The doctor doesn't know that I'm taking my time though. I hope it's okay. And we're just gonna allow this to brown and all the cheese to melt. And while that happens, I'm gonna put some mayo on top and then I'm gonna Pat on something there so it really like cooks. And they say you want to add mayo like evenly from side to side. So 
This is not the healthiest sandwich, but it's good. Oh, it looks so good. Let me put it back here. And flip it one at a time. Oh, the cheese. Flip. Ah, oh, look at that. Oops, they didn't like this. It's not really his type of breakfast, but he has no choice because I'm sure he's so sleepy he can't even think right now. And I don't want him to go to the hospital hungry. I don't know if they have any food there. Slater sandwich. It looks so much better than mine because of the white bread, if you can tell the difference. But look at that ooey gooey cheese melting off. And the tomato and the pesto. Ah, so excited. All right, I'm gonna eat this before Slater comes out as much as I wanna wait for him. I'm sure he does not wanna be on video right now. He's definitely not a morning person and he's getting ready to go to the hospital. So I think he just wants us to kind of leave ASAP. So I'm just gonna consume this and then get ready and then head out. Mm. So good. It's the same old sound in the same old town. All our stuff is at the back. Hopefully, I will not be sent home today. Hopefully, when I do get sent home, you will have a baby with us. Are you excited? I am sleepy. Do you think? What do you think will happen? You think we're gonna be sent home? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Today is the first day of general community quarantine in Cebu City. So this is what the roads look like. Traffic finally hits us. We wonder what's happening here. I thought they wouldn't have checkpoints anymore for GCQ, but I don't know. I guess everyone's still like kind of confused about what's happening. Hospital, me boss. Okay, thank you. Hey guys, later here. Um, I'm at the parking lot. Uh, I was gonna sleep, but I can't. Uh, I was just waiting for Chris. So I am um, resting in the car. In the car because I feel like, based on what Chris has told me, we will not be having our child today. <laughs> I don't know, they did some tests. Mas alam ni Chris to. But, um, di pa daw siya ready. Hindi ko alam yung mga terms. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just waiting for her. And, um, sabi niya, so, sobrang painful daw. So, I hope she's okay and I'll just wait for her. So guys, we are back on the road, in the car, together. Home. I'm going home again. I knew it because my water had not broken yet. It was just my mucus plug, and they did an internal exam on me. I couldn't even reach my cervix because it was so far back, like it was still in a posterior position, which means malayu pa. Labor is not imminent. And to all you mama to bees, masakit na masakit na masakit ang IE. Super like. What the hell? I was screaming like, "Siguro akala nila in labor na." <laughs> it was so painful. Um, yeah, so my water isn't broken yet. It was just my mucus plug, and they did a CTG on me, which is like they monitor the baby's heartbeat and my contractions. And I do not have regular contractions yet. I think they measured it at two contractions in 30 minutes, so malayo pa, and the baby is happy and healthy still in my belly. But they did keep saying that the baby is so big. I don't know why. They keep saying that ako kay yung tiyan no, mom. Ay nagpalabi ka na. Hindi na mong gawas ang bata. I'm like, how? We think, why? Maybe my stomach just looks so big, no? Why do you keep eating? No, because when Doc did the ultrasound, it's six pounds from the baby. And I'm really not eating so much. I don't get it. It's so funny unfair. how you explained what happened to you and then. I was vlogging using your cam. I was saying, uh, I don't know, Chris is not yet ready. I don't know the details, but it's not yet ready. <laughs> We're not having a child today. 
That's it. <laughs> yeah, but I kind of knew it was coming. That wasn't today. Because there weren't any there weren't any pains yet at all. Zero pains. And then I did have a few contractions um, while I was there in the presence of the nurses and doctors. And they were asking me, do you feel that? Do you feel that? I'm like, no, I don't feel a thing. It doesn't hurt at all. And then the doctor said, it's possible because my cervix is still so thick. That's why I don't feel anything. Na pain yet. So... And then they said, like, Krabbe, her pain tolerance is so low. We said, love. Oh, because no. of the IE. Because I was really screaming like hell. What the hell? It really hurts so bad. Like, they stick fingers in you. I don't know how many. And then it's like, Rah! like, they want to reach your stomach and your vagina. It's so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm so traumatized. Hey guys, I am back home. As I predicted, today is not the day. June 1st is not the day that I give birth. I'm speaking here in my home office because Slater, whom I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, is sleeping outside. I don't want to wake him. I just finished cooking lunch. Um, I forgot that I was vlogging, so I forgot to take you with me. But we just reheated some food. I made him some um, pork chop. And I'm wearing this very nanay duster. <laughs> that I borrowed from my mom. I told her, give me the most nanai look you have because it's so hot at home and I need something airy and breezy that I can just chill in when I'm sleeping the whole day. And so this is the look that she left me. <laughs> Slater challenged me to post it on um, Instagram and I did on Instagram stories, but on YouTube, ta-da! Nanai look it is. Let me show you the food that I made. Pork chop for Slater, rice, veggies, seafood, and a sleeping dog, and my sleeping husband. Hello from a very dewy, moisturized face. I just woke up from a very beautiful nap. I wasn't able to sleep last night at all, like maybe two hours long yung tulog ko. So, I'm very, very happy that I was able to take a nap this afternoon. Um, I am in hiking clothes with my baby plus still on with its last lesson. This is how big my stomach has gotten. It's a giant belly. For some reason in the hospital, everyone seems to think my belly is so big. Like everyone keeps telling me, don't eat na ha, because your baby's gonna get so big and then you can't push it out. So we are, even though I'm so hungry, I just had like three biscuits and then I'm gonna go hiking and hopefully this baby will come out really soon. Hi love, will you walk with me? I'll walk with you or I will walk with you? You can do anything you want. I can do whatever you want. Yes love. Go straight up? Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for you here. Are you ready now? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Hiking, hiking, hiking. So, GCQ na love. I know ang feeling mo. There are many people na daw in the hospital. It's, they said it's the same. I feel. If, if you me. have the capacity to stay at home, stay at home pa rin. Is that what you mean? Um, I feel like it's good in a way because it's back to work and everybody. Um, um there's a means of in income for everyone else but it still should be we should still be cautious but we should treat that like ECQ parin, aside from having work ECQ parin. it's not because the government said GCQ na all of a sudden the threat is away yeah and so our neighbors are looking at me anyway <laughs> so our Midwife is coming since GCQ na. But then siyang pumasok to Cebu. She's gonna arrive here next week. But my aunt, who's a doctor, I haven't told you this yet. She told my mom na, let's get her to take a COVID test for the safety of our household and the baby. And that she needs to get quarantined pa rin for 14 days, even if she tests negative in the COVID Who test. Said my aunt is a doctor wow. because there's so many cases that were false negative and false positive so we're gonna quarantine her for 14 yeah. days 
I mean, I already talked to her. She said she's okay with it. She's also, I guess she knows also the protocols because she works in a hospital. So, it's just gonna be me, you, and a baby. I googled everything and then it said that all of the signs that I've been talking about I know I look like shit <laughs> all of the signs I've talked about is koan kuno early stages of labor mm. so really pagyud sige na hoy kapoy na kayo you scare me I scare you? yeah that's it guys Chris is Doing her part walking and she's taking me along. Isn't he a dog? That's I your dog. I forgot the name, yeah. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Unfortunately, baby is not out yet and I keep seeing in my previous videos. I hope that next time you see me, I'll have a baby already. Well, fill up her in. But. The same thing I'm gonna say that I hope next time you see me, the baby's here. <laughs> yeah, pray for Chrissy, guys. Please. And our baby. Please, please. If All you right, like guys. this video, hit thumbs up below, hit like and subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.